Welcome back to another video of TFT. Wind up, monkey. So at 35, we're going to get something special. Mm -mm -mm. The monkey's going to play some music for us, I guess. Wow, okay. Um, it's pretty much decided what we play. Even like both these units, this could be great. Um, sniper also. So, Maddie. Uh, Seb, uh, Steb could also be great. He's a bruiser, unfortunately, not a watcher. And we got a bow. And we got a bow. Well, there's powder. But I think this is the better comp. Give the emissary, which give all, will give us mana per attack. So, Nami, allies attack, grant two bonus mana. That just means that Kogmo will attack faster. And we should buy pairs. Okay, Arcane Retribution. When source, uh, sorcerers die, they deal 300 ab ability damage. I've tried this once. Made a swain like insane bolt. Didn't really work. So, not gonna play that. Heroic Bag. Uh, your team restores 4% of their maximum health every 5 seconds. Increase healing uh, for 10 missing health. Here we roll that. Gain Vander. Strongest Vander. Okay, it's gloves off. I feel like uh, we should take this one right here. Choose one of three components. Next two rounds, gain a copy of that component. We'll take this. And we unfortunately missed out on Rod. But if that's the case, we'll take Bow. We should buy a step two. May 10. Lux, Tristana. We have another Watcher here. Scurry, weakling. You'll go in soon, Morgana, don't worry. Oh, sorry, Nami. Rod would have been a way better component, by the way. <laughs> what are we gonna do with all these bows? Oh my goodness. There's too many. I I guess it's red buff, right?
Ultima gains a crystal when they damage. At 20 crystals, a blast their opponent. So the blast becomes more valuable. So next in is Blitzcrank. And an infinite rods. Wonder how bad it will be. I mean, it gives ten AP also. It's not the greatest. Like in all honesty. There's nothing else I can do. I don't think red buff is going to be good. I think our next item has to be static shove. <laughs> oh, raw teething. Nocturne, Bloodscrank. Ooh. Ultima 6. Can we do that? I hope we can. Okay, then we get Dominator. We have to get Sniper. So no sniper gives a buff. If no sniper gives a buff, then we just take Caitlyn. But before you do that, Garen. Are you missing gold now? Yep. I feel like this is the best we could do. Yeah. 
So we got Garen in. Red buff. Sure, then we don't need anti heal. The last surviving unit gains. Mm, your next augment will be one tier higher. I think red buff is good, bro. Don't we also just want to pump in two bruisers, by the way? Elise. And no, no. Is this our team? I think it's a solid team. Oops, rolled ones too many. We're lost speaking carousel. That's not cool. What do we even want, dude? Definitely not a bow. <laughs> We are going to play a Bruiser. And Elise. So we can just make Bruiser items. And uh, give it to her. Not bad. Kogmo is definitely bringing the damage, bro. What was your attack speed? Still two. It's not even close to max. Oh. 
Another watcher. The sky is really strong. We need our blood crank, dude. We fight for you heard. You heard me. Now what? Like this. We stay on seven. <laughs> Can we make him fit? We can build him so good, though. We can build them so good. And we have Shred already, so Mord could do crazy things, dude. Not today. Every time watchers are attacked, they gain 2% attack damage. Every time watchers are hit by an ability, they gain 4 ability power. Uh, bronze tier, edge of night. This could be good. We're not going to play watchers for too long, to be honest. Good the attack speed. Dude, Amumu is a tanking, <laughs> tanking for the A team, bro. Like, honestly, with these items.
I'm just curious. Should we go Mord carry? It's a strong unit, bro. Mord is not really in the team, though. Malzahar is, on the other hand. Obviously, we won't get Malzahar, and I, I don't really know if I want him with a bow. That's a bit too high maintenance for me. There's no glove, unfortunately. Watchers three, we can we can take another watcher out, Vander, replace it with Elise. This champion gains fifteen percent attack speed. Every one kill, they permanently gain one percent more. Four point five damage amp for each active trait you have. Maximum mana is reduced. Combat start, leap off the battlefield. Arrive with 60% increased maximum health and stun. Okay, our Kogmo just got melted, dude. Oh, not Kogmo, sorry, uh, Nunu. I think we might need to move our tank items. Our, our Mumu, sorry. We 
fight for those who cannot. That looks so weird, dude. Wait, what? What? What killed my my Kogma? I didn't pay attention there. Oh my goodness! Do we even play? No, no. Yeah, we do. We definitely play Nunu for Bruiser, Bruiser buff. What is killing my Nunu? It's Nunu, Amumu, and Kogmo. It's like, dude. All their names are similar. We need two more. Okay, we don't, we're not rolling lower. Okay, HP is 1000 too, bro. I want to see. I feel like we were somewhat wrong side in that fight. Not cool. Okay, it's called more gold now, not later now. It 
Okay, we both are jumping away. Lol, it did nothing because we all stunned each other. Top four. I'm actually happy about it. So last time I take this jumping and shit. It is bad. Especially with Quicksilver. Because, like, half the time is wasted for you to just get to the fight. Ah, uh, we missed Mordekaiser too. Oh no, Smeech is on me, but it's not itemed, so... Slap that kitty out of here. Mordecai is a two death, bro. That's why we're not gonna get first. Is this like honestly as my elise stuns <laughs> he jumps in anyway it's like fucking terrible dude what a terrible combo get out of here buddy the other guy i don't know if you beat my ghost It's a mouse how That's the wrong one, dude. That's the wrong one. It's a GG. It can't be this guy. Can't really do anything.
Did you? A uh, second. There's nothing I can do about it. If you hit your... Uh, if we hit a two-star, I'm pretty sure we would have beat him. That's a more two diff right there. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.